Imagine uh, if you're a doctor and you're getting ready to perform complicated heart surgery on you or me tomorrow morning and that doctor spends 60% uh, of his time getting ready for surgery calling to raise money for the right equipment. That's what our members of Congress are doing. You start the day after you're elected raising money, um, and then you've got to continuously raise money. I think it's real important that Congress do its job of, of, of oversight. Congress refuses to take the tough vote, and they don't take the tough vote because of money in politics. We don't do what we should do. We don't cut programs that, that are wasteful, inefficient. We don't uh, add programs that are necessary because those tough votes will, will cost individuals politically, and, and that's something that's fundamentally wrong. I know a lot of colleagues are spending uh, a certain number of hours a day to go dial for, for dollars. I, I just find that really a soul-destroying form of um, scheduling. They're sitting over in the Democratic or the Republican campaign headquarters with a cell phone plastered to their face, raising money, drinking cold coffee, eating a pizza, and not solving our nation's problems, but trying to check off the box of you know, that 50,000 goal uh, of raising money that day. We must document this now and in a way that moves people to act and provides evidence of the need for change. It's a bipartisan bankruptcy is what it is because I'll, I'll vote to support your bill if you vote to support my bill. And, and we, we go down the road of, of putting this country further and further in debt. It's a broken system and it has to be changed. Change. Change. We should know where money's coming from, whether it's one dollar or one million dollars. I'm really excited about speaking freely because I think it will make a difference, but we need help to make it happen. You gotta work across the aisle with other people to fix it. <laughs>